Hello, Mioni here, and since the European data centres have decided to Brexit entirely today, I thought it would be an excellent idea to completely start afresh. So what better way to get a bigger name for myself than to play on data centres that actually work? Screw you, chaos. And a great way to reach my audience, whom, amazingly, is majoritively comprised of, you guessed it, USA citizens. I am so very sorry. So let's see, we need to choose a data center and indeed a server for our new permanent home. So there's the European data centers being split today. I, I really have no idea why they've split the smallest data center into even smaller chunks. We're still going to have the same issues, but regardless, it's not a discussion for that. Well, Ether is kind of selected for me with a star that clearly says that it's better than Primal in every way and there are more servers currently. So presumably that's a good place to start. Hmm. We're creating a character on Sargatanus. Sargatanus? Yes, this is a very easy to pronounce server. So uh, yes, let's create a character, a brand new one. Now we can create what we usually would, which would be a Makote female, but unfortunately a lot of people have been complaining. No, we're not going to go for Makote because that's the stereotype, and um, yeah, we, we already have one of those. Well, we had one of those until it brexited on us, so let's see what else can we do. We can go with a Rogadin and look like a massive, well, bodybuilder that would just sit on you and destroy your hopes and dreams, an Aura. I really don't know why the males are so much bigger. The females, eh, they're kind of cool. I love them, but yeah. I don't know, should I go as a male character? Is that really what we want to portray? Are we going to completely rebrand as a higher, for example? Like, a bit like Dirtlander? I'm not sure I could live with myself. No, we are going to go with a female Lalafell, because as a man of 30 years of age, of progressing maturity, there is nothing more confident in my mind that I can get away with playing as a female lolly. So here we have a choice of Plains folk or Dunes folk. I'm not really sure what the difference is. I don't really play Lalafells, and I haven't actually read up any of the lore on them. So all I can see immediately is that there are still starting attributes that I didn't even realise were still part of this game. They both start with 19 strength, but as you can clearly see, the Plains folk have slightly more dexterity by two points, so clearly that is what we're going for. Well, obviously you don't want a tall Lalafell that completely defeats the object, so shorter the better. I mean, we have to fit in holes in Shadowbringers. Those new houses aren't going to explore themselves, and indeed we can also cosplay as a dwarf, although we will have to get the fake beard. So, uh, bust size, this is a little bit weird. To be perfectly honest with you, I never thought I'd be playing with the bus size of someone who looks about 8 years old, but never mind. So it's set to the, sort of like this one third sort of section, and it doesn't really do anything. I'm not sure why I'm surprised, to be honest. Um, I'm not sure if we should show the small clothes, because that could probably get us a claim against our video. We're going to just have massive hidden breasts and we can just roleplay that they're there, but the game doesn't display them. Perfect. Skin colour, we want to be as pale as possible so we look deathly and sick, which is the, uh, you know, the go-to when it comes to making a YouTube character. We could go with, what's this, two buns? Hmm. This is clearly the hairstyle of a badass. Short of being in the tunnel snakes, I don't think this will really be as iconic as I would like. We could go with the mullet and look like we're from an 80s music video. That could uh, could work quite well. The sort of atypical Skrillex sort of haircut. And we could roleplay as a DJ. That would be probably quite a good playthrough. I'm not really sure what this is supposed to be, but I kind of look like a lampshade. Not going to lie. I mean, who actually chooses this hairstyle? It's a little bit... um, Yeah... Uh, there's Mioni's hairstyle. You can usually have it with or without fringe. Although if you have it without fringe, then unfortunately you have this massive section of head. I'm not really sure I want to show that much head, and I'm not sure I want to really clone that character. So, let's go with something with pigtails. That always works. Sort of give the schoolgirl approach to this. Now normally we would go with the whitest hair possible, but uh, as you can see that looks a little bit odd on a Lalafell. It's like she's had a massive stress factor and has aged like 50 years by the time she's left the playground, which isn't what we're really going for. No, we need something more 
Oh, I don't know. Blue. Blue looks good. I'm not sure why. Completely unnatural, much like the character design I've gone for. Oh, wow. That's just like resting bitch face. Yes, we probably have to go with resting bitch face. Although I'm not sure what happens to her ears. They sort of get like a bit dirty. So jawline, um, I mean we could have chubby chup, slightly less chubby chup, still chubby chup, or even more chubby chup. Hmm. Probably chubby chup. For the eyes, well, we've got the resting bitch face, but I guess we kind of need... Oh, that's definitely sort of like, I'm going to steal your wallet and then eat your soul. Yes, this is definitely it. Type 3. Well, it's obvious which eye colour we need for this character, isn't it? If I can actually find it. Can I just say this colour wheel is terrible for finding solid colours? Like, where is the red? It's as close as we're going to get to a red. Sort of like this dark, maroonish colour. Should we have odd eyes? I've never chosen odd eyes in the all the time I've created characters for this game. My OCD is just gravitating me towards this button to click it. Yes, I, I cannot do this in good conscience. As for eyebrows, hmm. Well, you can't really see much of them anyway, but the bushier the better, usually. Actually, no, this is definitely an evil eyebrow setting, number five. If you want to have a big enough mouth that you can actually wrap it around someone's kneecap, because you will be eating quite a few of those throughout your playthrough. There's a section in 4.0 I hear that uh, just requires you to eat the soul of someone through their kneecap. So we need the biggest mouth possible. Oh, that's a nice wide mouth. I think we're going to have to go with the wide mouth catfish look. Definitely. I quite like the idea of the pointed ones, but with a slight sag. I quite like the saggy ears. When it comes to ear size, you want the biggest possible. I mean, come on, you've got to have the biggest ear size possible. You need to basically be able to signal which way you're going at a road junction with these ears. Oh, we have slightly bigger eyebrows, so as an actual feature, you can extend your eyebrows. Perfect. You can also put eyeshadow on. Yes, definitely. Um, why would we want a bit of soot on our nose? Really? This just this doesn't work. I don't know why this would be an option. Hmm. We'll leave that one off. We can have hoop earrings, which would uh, get in the way of every other piece of glamour that we get in the game, so no. Soot marks? Why would you... Are you trying to say that all Lalafels belong in chimneys? Go sweep my chimney. Yes, sir. Right away. No, we're not going to go with that. We need as much eyeshadow as possible on this character. Make it look as demonic as humanly possible. And then as for a voice, um, the squeakiest the possible. Yes. You've got to have that. If you don't have voice type 1, you're doing it wrong. So now we're out the way. We did get a bonus to dexterity, if you remember, if we're actually going to stick to the rules. So we should probably start as something like an archer. Or a pugilist. Okay, archer it is. We don't... Knee muncher. Yes. That looks perfect. And there we are. The little knee muncher, preparing for her birth into the world of Eorzea. I really do look like I'm going to eat your kneecaps, which is perfect. So we should play... Oh, wow. Why is A and D turning? That's disgusting. I need to rebind that. Yay, we can do game mechanics without dying. This is definitely um, an experience. I'm not... Do I really want to do this? Do I really want to go through an entire game again? Realising that I'm going to have to, like, explore all of the maps again and do things. Oh, and attune to all the etherites and gain the levels and get all the classes. Oh, and the com- oh my god. No. Crafting and gathering. Uh... I tell you what, you can keep your hoop to your rings. I'm out of here.